Hi, uh, I've been involved in starting and nurturing biotechnology companies for about 40 years, going back to the founding of Genzyme in the late 70s, most recently Rubius, which came out of my lab and had an IPO last summer. And Carmine has many of the characteristics of these companies. It's what we call a platform technology. It's a technology involving extracellular vesicles formed from red blood cells that can be used to treat a whole variety of diseases that currently have no cures or imperfect therapies. It can be used to bring genes into certain cells to correct genetic defects, genetic diseases. It can be used to target and then kill various types or several types of tumor cells. It can be used to knock out in certain cells deleterious genes. It has a wide potential, which is why I like it. It also has many technical advantages. Red cell extracellular vesicles are straightforward to manufacture. They can be made in huge amounts. They are not immunogenic. That is, because they're natural substances, really derived from natural cells, they do not induce an immune response, which is something viruses and other gene and nucleic acid delivery technologies do. And that's important because they can be used over and over again without causing harm to the patient. And they're very pure. They're made from a cell that we understand in great detail, and particularly my own lab has studied red cells for almost 50 years, and we understand their proteins, their membranes. We know how to get genes and drugs inside them. This is something Carmine scientists have already done. So I'm very optimistic about this company, and that's why I've chosen to work with it and work with Min and Jihai, who developed this underlying technology. I'm excited about many of the Carmine technologies and being able to target the extracellular vesicles and the genes within them to types of cells that currently are very difficult to target.